Hello everyone, Lyle here from West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange, and today I got this small collection right here to show you. Hello everyone, my name is Lyle and I own West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange here in Savannah, Tennessee. And I do a lot of videos of all of the cool collections that come into the store, a lot of unboxing videos, a lot of other coin related content. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you like, subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of the cool things that come into the coin shop. And on today's episode, I got that small collection of things, some um, silvers in there. I got a few coins in there to show you some, uh, some cool stuff. So let us get right to it. First, I'm going to show you some stuff that's come in quite a bit. Um, I've seen so many of these through my... Oh, I'm almost up to a year, guys. We're in November now, and I opened in November. I opened towards the end of November. Uh, I'd have to really look back as to when I actually opened, but um, around this time, I was probably... I wasn't in the building yet. Well, actually, I was in this building, and I was fixing up in here around this time last year, so crazy how things go. But I got these four uh, buffalo bars right here, these Indian buffalo bars. These are pretty common. I see these quite often. Uh, I normally see them cut off the sheet just like this. I don't think I've had a sheet come in yet. Um, but I have seen them just like this all cut up into small ones. I have seen sheets before, it's just none have actually come into the store. But these are pretty cool. They're one ounce silver bars. They're just like the um, generic buffalo rounds that uh, everyone seems to stack. It's very recognizable, very common. This is like the bar version of that. So in case you like to stack bars, you're more than welcome to grab these, stack them up, or you can put them in tubes. Uh, with the rounds, of course, you can't put these in tubes. But that uh, that's really cool. We do have other stuff. Here's one of those buffalo rounds that I was mentioning. There is one in this little collection. This one looks like it's got some milking right over here. It is a one ounce silver bar. I get small one, small collections like this every now and then. All right, my wife called me, but this is the buffalo round so let's keep on moving i got a few more silver stuff to show you here is a one ounce that looks like a one cent <laughs> this looks like one of the the wheat cents uh but it says one ounce it's got abraham lincoln in the front it is uh, really cool i've had i've had these come in before um, so I have seen these, I've shown these on, on the channel before, and then attached to it is this, uh, maple leaf. This one right here is from, uh, 2012. I believe I've had 2012s come in before. I think that's actually on the flip, not on the coin. Yeah, it's on the flip. I can see it, but that is a nice $5 maple right here. One ounce silver coin from Canada that was part of this collection as well. And next up, we have this 1 10th Krugerrand right here. Check this out, guys. I don't think I've ever had a 1 10th Krugerrand come into the store before. I believe this is a first. I will double check in my little bullion book. And if you're not aware of me checking the bullion book, I am trying to get one of every single gold coin that's in that bullion book to come into the store, and I'm checking them off as they come in. Uh, I've had a few of them come in so far, and I think this is one I can definitely check off, and we'll do that in just a little bit. Let's take a look at this one under the microscope because I just think the Cougaran is a fantastic design. I love this little, what is it, antelope? possibly it's got horns crazy looking horns 
I think that's it, it's frolicking. <laughs> I really like this coin for some reason. I don't know why the Krugeran just stands out to me. Here is the obverse, and it is a one tenth Krugeran. Like I said, I don't think I've had one of these come into the store before, so this is a first. It is a great looking coin. I like the Krugeran. One more look at the reverse. It's from 2021. It is a one tenth. Here it is. Let me look in my little bullion book. Like I mentioned, what I'm trying to do is you can see I've checked mark as they've come in. I have not had a $10 um, eagle come in yet. So that's something that I'm looking forward to as it comes by. I've had the Ducant come in. So uh, I haven't had a British Sovereign come in, which uh, surprising. I've had the Maples come in. I've had a 110th or a 120th Panda come in. But let's go to Cougarans, and it looks like I've had a one ounce come in, but I have not had the tenth come in. So let's go ahead and check off the one tenth right there. That one is now checked off, because here it is, guys. It has come into the store, and I'm trying to get more and more of those um, bullion, gold bullion that's in this guide. I want to try to get them in so we can uh, finish this whole book. Hopefully, I'll, I can finish that whole book in uh, the next coming years if I'm still open, which I hope so. I really hope I can be open that long. So up next, we have some Silver Eagles. I've had Silver Eagles like this come in before. They're in this nice presentation package right here. This is a 2000 Silver Eagle. Nice American flag. And this is 2000, is one of the common ones. And then next up is this 2001. And 2001, I believe I was a sophomore in high school back in 2001. So when this was being minted, I was in high school. Uh, failing, probably English, and uh, possibly math. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been so long. Uh, I've been out of high school for 20 years now. I graduated in 2013, and we are in 2023. It has been 20 years since high school. My goodness. And here's another one. A uh, 2004, 2004 Silver Eagle. Really nice presentation. Uh, it's got like the flag here and it's got a nice little slot for it. So uh, I'm not sure about these things. I'm pretty sure it's just to open it back and forth, but I don't think it presents any way. I think it just hangs just like that. And here is a 2003, the year I graduated. 2003. Nice Silver Eagle. Who knows how long it's been in here. It's probably been in here since 2003. And last but not least on the Silver Eagles, this is a 2000 right here. 2000 Silver Eagle. This one looks like it might have some milking right up there. Let me look at that. Uh, no, it's not really milking. It's, it's like some... It's like a... Almost a... I guess beige tone to it. The camera is just making it look white, but it's actually like beige. That's cool. But that is from the year 2000. I've had Silver Eagles just like this come in before uh, numerous times. They come in these exact same um, little carrying cases. So that's really cool. Really fills up the display cases with a lot of that stuff. And last but not least, in this little collection, we have some mint sets. Look at this, guys. It is a 1960 mint set right here from Philadelphia. These are Philly coins. Here's a 1960 penny, the dime, the nickel, the quarter, and the um, Franklin half right there. These are all in mint state. They are in great looking shape. 
I don't, they usually come in like yellow envelopes. I don't have the envelope. This is how I got it. So I don't think it would hurt the value too much not having the envelope. Um, <laughs> you guys are going to kill me, but sometimes what I do is because I'm trying to put together a, uh, uh, a penny set, like a uncirculated penny set. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll buy these and I'll, cu I'll cut that out and then I'll throw the rest of it in like a flip or something uh, and sell it that way. But uh, and then I'll, I'll keep the penny or if I was trying to put together a a um, uncirculated set of Franklin's, I'd cut them out of here and put them in. Don't kill me, guys. That's just what I do. So um, to make sure I get good looking coins. Let me know if you do anything like that, guys. I'm really interested to see if I'm the only one. Sometimes I'll get I'll, I'll get min sets of like 92 or something. They're really inexpensive and I'll cut the pennies out just so I can have put it in my uh, penny collection. Uh, so with that, here is the last one. It is another mint set, but this one is from 1957. I think I've had a 57 and a, I know for sure I've had the 60 come in. I'm almost positive I've had the 57. Before I started doing videos, I think probably a month or two before I started doing videos, I had a guy come in, older dude, and he sold me his, his entire collection. He had probably 40 of these. Um, just different years, uh, a lot of duplicates from like the 50s, 60s. Um, so I had the whole thing at, at one time. Um, I'm almost, I'm positive there was a 57 in there as well, but I ended up getting that. I ended up getting a ton of Rattlers from him. He had a lot of Buffalo Rattlers, Mercury Dime, um, Rattlers. I have shown some of those before in like older videos, but I didn't get to show that entire collection that I got from him because I wasn't doing videos at that time, but, um, it was really cool. But these guys are really, really nice. And this is a, what, uh, another Philly. Philly set right here is a 1957. I think I need a 57, so <laughs> look out. If I don't sell it, then this uh, wheat scent is going to go into my collection. And then I'll just sell off the rest. But that's, that's what I do sometimes, guys. Let me know if you do the same thing. But until then, guys, my name is Lyle. I own West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange. I do a lot of videos like this. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe, so you can stay up to date on all of the cool things that come in from now on, because I am doing videos of pretty much everything that comes in. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.